Hi, this is Vanessa from VanessaFink.com. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to tell you today something about bovis value. So bovis value is actually how much life force does something have? And it is very important to know if you want to know some more, something more about health to realize, for example, in food, what kind of bovis value it has so that you can choose wisely. So I just did the Dutch video and in the Dutch video, I extensively tested all these foods that are here. But since of course, every measurement can have a little bit of a difference. I want to stick to the Dutch version and I have all the things already written down, but I want you to know how I did this. So that's why I'm explaining a little bit to you here. So if you've ever been to a session with me, you probably know this device. It is called a Biotensor and uh, she helps me. I can't help it. She told me it's, she's a she. <laughs> she helps me very, very much in, for example, a quick yes or no during a session. But she can also help me to measure. And the way how we do that is that we're, uh, so I, I went to this course to, to know how to work with her and I've been working with her for years and years now. And uh, we, we are calibrated like this that I work with my right hand. So that's a little bit, maybe not so handy because I also write with this hand. So, so the Dutch people needed to bear with me. I needed to put down my biotensor, write down the scores, etc. Anyway, and in my left hand, she really just doesn't work because we're not calibrated like that. Anyway, when she goes up and down, that means a yes. When she goes this, it's a no. And when she does nothing, it's like, hey, find out for yourself. This is a, a no go. What I did is I've written down all these different products I have here and I just picked up a product and just checked by uh, wiggling with the, the, the biotensor wiggled itself to see how much it has. And because I know that a healthy life force should be around uh, 6,500 bovis value, I uh, started Pretty much, I always started with a thousand and I just went up until she told me that it, uh, it was the definite answer. I've written that down to, give an, I, to get an idea about the, the bovis value of all these kind of products I have here. And by the way, it started with André Bovy. You probably pronounce it like that. It was a Frenchman, but I noticed that everybody says bovis. So you can say whatever you want to, but I, I cannot fix myself anymore and I just say bovis, that, that's easier, I don't know. So what I did, I picked all of them up and I've written them down. And the reason why I wanted to do this is because there was one of these products that a friend of mine uh, told me about. I was like, oh, I'm so interested. And well, I'm skipping to the results now because I'm not going to do the measurements for, for you guys. You can please, if you want to, you can see it, how I did it in the Dutch version, which will also be available for you. But this is, these are the results. So what I really wanted to know was the life force of this specific potato, because um, the farmer who creates this calls it, I'm not even, you cannot even translate it. Like it, he, he calls it in, in Dutch, bodemis voedsel. So bodemic food, no, that is bo bottom, the, the, the earth. I don't even know, sorry. I don't even know how to translate it. Anyway, the thing about what he does is I just heard a little bit about it. That's why I was curious and I didn't go all the way into it. I don't know this man. So I have no clue about um, how he does it yet. But I do know that he is raising the vibration of the ground where he is planting his potatoes. So he creates a lot bigger life force in the food that he has, which is enormous. Food, can, food should be your medicine. It is amazing what it does. So if you want to be able to raise your vibration, you're not going to eat something that is of very low bovis value. That makes sense to me at least. And I always say, you know, you, 
see your body as a Ferrari. I, if I'm a Ferrari, I don't want to put cheap gasoline in there. I want to have the best. If I'm able to afford it, and I know nowadays it is very difficult. So, um, of course, if it's not possible, I completely understand. But if you can choose, choose wisely. And the biggest difference between a very, very high score of this potato, which was, by the way, 9,000. So keep in mind that healthy food starts at 6,500, but pretty much the, um, uh, let me see. So other high scores were the sweet potato, organic from the um, organic store, 6,700. Same as the um, nectarine, also organic from the same store. And the blueberries from the same store were 7,200. Wow. For example, what went lower was the, the, the non-organic apple from the supermarket, which is a little bit older, 3,400. The uh, strawberries, non-organic from the supermarket, and also a bit older, 3,000. So for example, the non-organic strawberries from the fruit uh, guy here on the street, from Dutch ground, by the way, 4,500. That is interesting. That gets better. It, it's probably the lower value of the older strawberries. This one is probably the pesticides. And what an organic store should not sell, they don't sell that, are a lot of pesticides. There will always be pesticides, but a lot of pesticides on food, you don't see it there. That's why the, the value of the things from the organic store are higher. And this is a banana. The banana was 5,000. And this is probably the reason it, it is organic, but it has came come all the way here, probably with the plane or I don't know how, but at least it takes time to, to travel here. And uh, despite the fact that it is organic and it has a very thick peel and yada, 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 it is still 5,000. So now you realize that it is very interesting to see that the this certain potato that I wanted to measure is 9,000. That is amazing. Of course, you're going to cook it. And when you cook it, unfortunately, the value will be lower. So it's, it's very good to eat at least the fruits and everything and the vegetables. If you can't eat it raw, please do, because then you have a higher bovis value, a higher life force. Um, well, I think that's, that's pretty much it. I think I said the similar message in the Dutch. Uh, video. So what I'm hoping to ex have explained to you is the difference between things. I will make a photo of this one and I will um, put it up there too so that you can see the different numbers. Just realizing that this is in Dutch, so maybe I have to write it and make it in English. Anyway, I'm doing my best here. <laughs> Improvising. Mm, thank you so much for watching and I hope it gave you a little idea of how you can use food to actually feel good. Okay, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.